Assalamu alaikum. Today we will talk about nuclear receptors. Nuclear receptors is one major family of intracellular receptors. Nuclear receptors are proteins that are found within the interior of cells that are responsible for sensing the presence of hormones and certain other molecules. In response, these receptors work in concert with other proteins to regulate the expression of specific gene, thereby controlling the development hemostasis and metabolism of the organism. Nuclear receptors have the ability to directly bind to DNA and regulate the expression of adjacent genes. Hence, these receptors are classified as transcription factors. Orphan nuclear receptors is one family members have been identified by DNA sequencing only and the ligand is not yet known. These proteins are therefore referred to as orphan nuclear receptors. Currently, more than half of the 48 nuclear receptors encoded in the human genome are orphans. Domain structure of nuclear receptor is as follow. A and B are the N-terminal regulatory domains, while C is DNA binding domain, and D is hinge region, thought to be a flexible region, which connects to the DNA binding domain with ligand binding domain. E is lignin binding domain and F is C terminal domain. The regulation of gene expression by nuclear receptors only happens when a ligand is present. Some of the receptors such as those for cholesterol are located primarily in the cystosol and enter the nucleus only after ligand binding. Others such as the thyroid and retinoid receptors are bound to DNA in the nucleus even in the absence of an ligand. In either case, the inactive receptors are usually bound to inhibitory protein complexes. Mechanism of action Ligand binding alters the conformation of the receptor protein, causing the inhibitory complex to dissociate, while also causing the receptor to bind co-activator proteins that stimulate gene transcription. In other cases, however, ligand binding to a nuclear receptor inhibits transcription. Some thyroid hormone receptor, for example, act as the transcriptional activators in the absence of their hormones and become transcriptional repressor when hormones bind. As you can see in the picture, inactivated receptors, B diagram and C diagram showing active receptors. Mechanism of action can be seen in this diagram also. The transcription response usually takes place in multiple steps primary response, secondary response, and negative feedback. Primary response in the case in which ligand and binding activate transcription, for example, the direct stimulation of a small number of specific genes occurs within about 30 minutes and constitute the primary response. Secondary response, the protein products of these genes in turn activate other genes to produce a delayed secondary response and so on. Negative feedback, some of the proteins produced in the primary response may act back to inhibit the transcription of primary response genes, thereby limiting the response, an example of negative feedback which we will discuss later. The regulation of gene expression by nuclear receptors only happens when a ligand is present. Some of the receptors, such as those for this principle applies to all signal responses that depend upon gene regulatory proteins. Nuclear receptor proteins are sometimes also present on the cell surface where they function by mechanism entirely different from that just described. 